I am Dr. Professor Alex Rema Zakura, MD, a physician. I have a question for you. How about taking scuba diving in Western Caribbean off the keys of the island in Belize? I have with me David Nisbet. He, along his lovely wife, Joyce, goes to Belize every year. And we are going to learn a lot about scuba diving from you. That's right, Doctor. Belize is a beautiful country. We dive there in the winter and they have their own barrier reef, which is very important to diving. What is that? Well, there are several different kinds of reefs. The largest reef in the world is the Australian barrier reef, the Great Barrier Reef. Yes. And in Belize, we have the second largest, and it's the Tongue and Groove Formations. In Belize, we have the second largest, and it's the Tongue and Groove Formations. You could imagine that your fingers would sit like this, Doctor, yes. and this would be a 150-foot slope, and we dive in the canyons behind them. Yes. The reef sits, uh, the reef head is here, yes. and the fingers stick down. So you yes. have an opportunity to be diving in 150, 200 feet of water and see these big stingrays coming along. It's just yes. a beautiful sport. So you believe it's a world-class diving experience? That is correct. Belize Barrier Reef, the island of Amburgis Key, the Key Cocker area, that whole reef has been designated a world-class dive site and they have many places to dive. Mm -hmm. Tell us the I'm a physician. Tell us the benefits, particularly the health benefits of diving. When I was still, uh, um, that's a good question, doctor. Ten years ago, I had radical knee surgery, hmm. and there wasn't anything I could do without walking with a cane, and I started diving, and it was great therapy for me. I was able to exercise my knee. Mm -hmm. Other benefits are that it's just a good sport, good exercise, and that you get to do it early in the morning on the island. Many of your Caribbean tours are done in the afternoon, and you have to take a plane or a boat, and you're gone most of the day. If you scuba dive, you leave your dock at 8.30, and you're back by one with a double tank dive. Okay, how many dive sites off the island of Belize? I believe the island of Amber is key in Belize. There are approximately 40 to 50 dive sites lying just west of the Belize and Barrier Reef. Are they too crowded? Not really, doctor. There are boats that come out on mooring lines and you may be at a dive site and you might see one or two other boats and you're in the water column at 100 and 20 feet and you might run into another group so you kind of got to watch where your group's at. Mm -hmm. Do you dive in winter? Yeah, February is the best dive month for us yes. in Belize. Mm -hmm. uh, the water temperatures in Belize are around 82. Mm -hmm. Most people would be able to wear a two milliliter skin or maybe a four. Of course mm -hmm. my wife wears a seven or eight. She gets cold but a two mil shorty would be what we'd recommend for a diver to come down there. How do we get a diving certificate? To get a diving certification, you could start up in the United States if you wanted to. And I would suggest that if you're gonna to go to Belize or Cancun or any of the world-class dive destinations, I would start my book work in the area mm -hmm. by contacting a local paddy dive shop and getting the book. For about $375, you can get the book and take the online class. Yes. And this would just be the start. Mm -hmm. You would get your paperwork done, and then when you flew to Belize, you'd take that paperwork, and you'd have to go on two or three training dives with them. Yes. That would all be included mm -hmm. in the $375. Oh, so that brings up the cost. How, how much it costs per person? That's exactly. The certification involves as I mentioned earlier, the book work, and then two or three training dives, sometimes four, that can be done the day after you arrive on the island or two days after you arrive on the island. Most of the time, if you do your book work in the U.S. before arriving, with 
within two days of on the island, you're an open water certified diver. Mm -hmm. How long does it last? Is it lifetime or? The certification is lifetime yes. with some stipulations. If you haven't dove in two or three years, they're going to ask you to come out for a refresher course. They may not charge you for it. Yes. They just want to see your diving skills. So therefore, the whole trip from here and how long you recommend the person to stay, to, to, to have this certification in Belize and get back, uh, can you give um, an approximate uh, number of days? If you wanted to go on a dive trip to Belize, you'd want to stay at least six days. Yes. Um, and then you, could, you can't dive the day you arrive due to the fact that you've already been up in the air pressure. Mm -hmm. And so that'd give you three or four days to dive. So you'd want to take about six days uh, to do a nice dive trip. And you'd probably get in two dives a day, sometimes three. So you may get in a total of seven, eight, maybe even a dozen dives if you really go at it on a six-day trip. Mm -hmm. Are there any atolls in Belize? Belize is blessed with two atolls. There's only, I believe, four in this hemisphere, and two of them lie within the boundaries of the country of Belize. Mm -hmm. They lie just outside of the Barrier Reef, the first being the famous Blue Hole, which lies around 52 nautical miles off the reef on the island of Amburgis Key. Another atoll in the country of Belize is Glover's Reef, located off Placentia, in the southern region. And there is also the, the Turniff Reef in the middle of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us any, any dangers or anything that can unexpected happen? Because you are underwater, and uh, so therefore there, has, uh, there will be very sp special precautions taken all the time. Tell us something about it. We train down there with uh, what we feel is one of the most responsible dive shops on the island, and that's Belize Diving Adventures with Everett and N.S. Anderson. There are many other good dive shops on the island, Ramones, Amigas Del Mar, Chuck and Robbie, many good ones on the island. What we like to do yes. is go out and train every year and make sure we have our skills up. What we say when you train is, the instructor will tell you there's nothing that cannot be fixed at depth. There's never a reason, once you're at depth in the water column, to bolt to the surface. Hmm. Everything, any problem that has occurred at depth in the sea can be fixed at depth in the sea. So we train you, doctor, to be able to fix every problem by having you kneel on the seabed in about 60 feet of water during your training. Mm -hmm. We'll ask you to remove your mask and flood it on purpose. Yes. So we're mocking uh, an emergency situation and we have you recover from that by putting your mask back on and clearing your air and giving us the okay sign. We'll simulate several things that could happen during your training before mm -hmm. we ever get you certified mm -hmm. as an open water diver. Mm -hmm. Um, just for information, any accidents or people panic under and uh, something un unfortunate happened? Sometimes a diver will have trouble breaking the surface. What you do is add 16 to 12 pounds of weight, anywhere around there. What you do is you add 8 to 10 pounds of weight when you dive mm -hmm. around your midsection and that helps get you down. Yes. Once you have the weight down, you can regulate your buoyancy yes. with your BCD. We'll be watching some film soon where I'll be displaying neutral buoyancy in the water column where I have balanced the breath in my lungs and my tank where I can just be hanging in mid-column without moving at all. Mm -hmm. The ideal diver will not be flailing his arms and legs, mm. but will be keeping them at rest as much as possible to save oxygen. Mm -hmm. And um, what is the duration of the total experience from getting into the water and coming out? A dive will last 40 to 45 minutes. When I first started, yes. I was using all my air in about 20, 25 minutes. Unfortunately, everyone else would have to come up when I did. So nobody wanted to dive with me, but I've done better now and I got my air along where I can take a 45 minute tour underwater. 
I'm really excited. And is there any age, age bar for someone like me? Can I take the lessons? You can be any age. One of the best professional underwater videographers on the island yes. is Harriet Fisher. Harriet is an elderly lady and is very good underneath the water. Harriet can be filming all the different fishes and keeping her neutral buoyancy at all times. Mm -hmm. She will really impress you. And she's an elderly gal. I recommend anyone under the age of 100 come to Belize and dive. You have certainly made us all excited and you have some good videos and pictures to substantiate all that you said? I do, doctor. My daughter and her fiance came down in 2010 and we have some video of that and also some dives with my wife and I that we'll be sharing today. You'll be able to see fish in the coral reef and even a couple shots of a nurse shark. What would a person do to start on this unique, exciting journey of diving? You contact your local paddy shop, P-A-D-I, your local paddy shop in the area and ask them how to get open water certified. And where do you find the paddy shop? There are two in the Champaign-Urbana area, or you could just go on to Belize and come up to the Seduce Dive Shop with Elito and Rebecca Arceo, or go down to Belize Diving Adventures, Amigas Del Mar, Ramones. There's many very good dive shops on the island of Amburgess Key in the country of Belize. Thank you, David, you and your beautiful wife, Joyce. She's not here, but someday she'll be here. But you have really got us all excited about this scuba diving. And uh, we thank you for coming over and sharing this wonderful, exciting experience with us. Thank you, doctor.